All right, I got a quick one for you this time that many people have asked about. In this video, we're going to look at how to make a 2D character with eight directional movement that includes animation like you see here. For this example, we're going to use this isometric mini crusader art pack that you can find on itch.io. I've got the link in the description below. It has eight directional animations for idle running, attacks, all that kind of stuff. So it's a, a great one to use for this example. Now when you download this, you're going to get a bunch of individual folders for each animation. And in each folder are all the individual frames. So, and they're numbered. Zero is this first animation. All the frames are running in that direction. Then we have the ones in this direction and so on. Every time it starts over from one to two to three and so on, you have a different animation. So we're going to drag all those into our individual animations in an animated sprite. So here's our animated sprite and I've created the eight animations for idle and the eight animations for run, dragging each set of images into the appropriate one. And you can see up here that it's running if I change to you know, idle three, it's facing in that direction. And each of the names of these animations are set up to have a number at the end corresponding to the direction with idle zero and run zero being the ones pointing to the right. And that corresponds to this layout. So zero is facing, is the animation facing to the right? And then we go clockwise from there around the circle. So in order to control our character, we're just going to detect the mouse position. Depending on which one of these sections the mouse is in, that's the direction we're going to move and the animation we're going to choose. So when we get the mouse angle, we're going to get a value. And I'm showing it in degrees here, although it'll be in radians in our script. And we don't really care what the exact value is. We want to know which of these sections this is in. So in order to get that, we're just going to stepify, which will let us snap these angles to the closest 45 degrees, right? So anywhere in between here would be 45, 90, and so on. And that looks like this. So when I'm in this section, I have zero. In here is 45, 90, 135, and so on. If I need this to be 0, that's fine. I need this to be 1 and this to be 2. I can divide by 45. And now I have each of these divided by 45. I get the number, right? But something strange is going to happen over here. And that's because when Godot is measuring the angle, it's just measuring the shortest angle. So this direction is going to be minus 45 degrees, minus 90 degrees, and so on. So over here by 180, we've got the transition between positive and negative. So we need to take these numbers, which go from negative four around to four, and we need that to map to the range that we want, which is zero all the way around to eight. And we can do that by using wrap. And then we wind up with what we need. We've got zero in this section, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now we have all our eight directions that are gonna match our desired animation numbers. So here's our script on our kinematic body. We're going to keep track of our current animation. It could be idle or it could be run. Uh, those are the only two that I added to the animated sprite. But of course, if you add all the other attack and, and so forth, you can add those as well. Um, speed is our movement speed. And A is just the angle that we're gonna calculate to the mouse, which I made a variable so that I could do that, uh, that troubleshooting drawing. All right, and then in the process, we're gonna assume we're on idle unless we have some mouse input. And then here's where we do that calculation I just demonstrated. We get the mouse position relative to the player. We stepify it by 45 degrees and divide by 45 degrees. That gets us our minus four to four. And then we use wrap I here to wrap it around from zero to eight. Okay, make that a little bigger now. And then if we are pressing the mouse button and our mouse isn't too close to the player, we're going to move towards the mouse. So we're going to change current animation to run instead of idle. And we're going to use move and slide to move in that direction. And then we're also going to set the animation on our animated sprite to that current animation, run or idle, plus the number that we got for the mouse direction. So idle zero, run five, and so on. And now when we run this with a nice background, we have the 
perfect effect of the animation matching which way we're going in our eight directional movement. Now you can do this with the keyboard as well. If you're using keyboard controls instead of the mouse, you're going to do the exact same thing. Your direction of movement is going to come from whichever keys you have holding, you have held down, right? If you're pressing right and down, you're going to be going diagonally in this direction. So you'd pick animation number one, right? If you're going this way, you'd pick animation number zero. So use the same technique to pick the angle based on the direction of the input vector. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. You can find this recipe and lots more on the Godot Recipes website at godotrecipes.com. Here you can find a wide variety of recipes for creating the game system you need, some help on how to get started with Godot in the basics section, and lots more. I recommend you go over there and explore and let me know if there's something you're looking for that you'd like me to add, as I'm always adding more recipes over time. Right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a future video.